everybody. Let's say hello to our friend John Baptiste. John, you and the band sound great in those bumpers, man. And I, I, need, I need the energy. You guys mm -hmm. always bring the joy. How, how are yes. you doing? It's a very dark time. You know what? It's, it's nine days to inauguration, but I keep thinking we have years and years and years of work to do. So I'm trying to build myself up to do the work. That's how I'm doing. Well, if you figure out what the work is, please give me an assignment. In the meantime, mm -hmm. do you have any more of that? Do you have any, any more joy in your fingertips you could share with America? Oh, my goodness, always. <laughs> Thank you, John. John Baptiste, everybody. My guest tonight is an actor, writer, director, and comedian. Please welcome to A Late Show, Chris Rock. Hello, Chris Rock. Wow. No music, nothing. Nope. Nope. Nothing. No. Welcome to the desert. Wow. Those, those Charlie Rose pills are kicking in, man. <laughs> Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lonely out here. Just absolutely. You know what the weirdest part is? Is that after 10 months, it stops feeling weird. That's when you oh. know you're in trouble. This feels normal now. Well, I'm sorry. You so get ready to interview Gorbachev? What, what, what's going on? This is. If we plunged everything into darkness, we would do that. This is. This is. Welcome to The Late Show's Tiny Desk Concert with Stephen Colbert. Yes. And Chris Rock. Chris, I'm so happy to have you on. We've never had, I've never had a chance to interview you before. Thanks for being here. Really? Really? Never. I guess not. We're both from South Carolina, if that means anything. I don't know if it does. Let's get into that for a second. I don't know if that does mean anything. Because people used to always say to me, you must know Chris Rock. He's from South Carolina. And I'm like, I think he left when he was pretty young. And yeah. B... The people who ask that haven't spent much time in South Carolina. They don't no. understand that there are two different South Carolinas. Oh, very different. Very different. Very well, different. but we're both, we're both, uh, we both, uh, do you know the state motto? What is the state motto, Stephen? It is Doom Spiro Sparrow, while I breathe, I hope. Hmm. Okay. Isn't that okay. bad? That's, That's not, not too bad. bad. Not bad. Hey, one of the things I introduced you, I introduced you as a, uh, a writer, director, uh, uh, producer, and comedian. Which of those is most important to you? You got to pick one. Uh, Capricorn. No. Okay. Uh, com comedian. Comedian's my album. You know, you know, I could. I'm in the top twenty, where, where I would be, you know, in the top seven hundred actors. So I'd, I'd rather be, you know. Right. And the and the comedy leads to everything else. That's the nuclear no, reactor that drives the no. whole machine. Yes, hard doing comedy right now. It is. Though I it saw is. your I saw your special uh, and uh, total blackout, and I was very grateful for it. I mean, Thank it, you. it's it's from the somewhat of the before times. It's not it's not from this moment right now. But no. I was grateful that you were able to be in front of an audience. I loved hearing that laughter. Oh God, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's just hard doing comedy. It's got Mumford and Sons taking over the Capitol. I'm like, that is that Winston? That is Winston. Wow. Oh. You know, it's just crazy. Just the whole country is just losing it. Did you see Pelosi on 60 Minutes last yeah. night? Mm -hmm. When they asked her about AOC, whoa. It was, it was like asking Nicki Minaj a Cardi B question. <laughs> Like, I got rhymes, too. I got plenty of MCs. Who cares about her? It's like, damn, you seem wow. really old and rich right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, anyway, I, you know what else pissed me up that girl? What's her name? Uh, Ponsetto. Mia Ponsetto. Is Dis she the one, the one with uh, the Gail interviewed about the phone? Yeah, guess what? I got your phone, bitch. It was you? It was me. I took it. And I'm never giving it back. One of the topics that you cover in your Netflix special is the, the way 
I mean, we've talked about this for years, but the way that uh, black people are treated by police. And, and when you look at, compare the Black Lives Matter protests and how they were treated and how the troops were brought out to protect the Lincoln Memorial from black protesters and what, there were tanks in the streets of various towns, including the capital of the United States, and they were shooting tear gas and rubber bullets. And then you see that there is this lightweight reaction to armed militias. What, what does that make oh, you think? Yeah, it was Black Lives Matter. They had like Apache helicopters, and and for this, they there was food trucks outside. It was like they're selling burritos. I'm like, what's going on? I mean, we, we could do this with anything, though. You know, you could you can go. You know, if popcorn was black, they would not sell it in the movie theaters. You could say that. <laughs> if fruit was black, <laughs> you would not put whipped cream on it. You know, whatever. If Eminem was black, he'd be wrapping groceries. You can go on. This never stops. Please, please don't, but I'll, I'll move on to the next question. <laughs> um, I, I have a, I have a, a slightly uh, a bone to pick with you. What do you have to pick with me, David? This right here, this photo from last fall. Do you see, you see that? What? Oh, yeah. We are essentially the same age. A... I don't believe a man in his 50s should have abs. And B, I find it offensive for a comedian to be sexy. What, what is the meaning of this, sir? Answer. Answer for yourself. I agree with everything you just said. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how I got there. I, I, was, I, I, I learned how to swim this summer. So oh. it was kind of like one of these weird things. It was just a product of swimming. I, actually, but, uh, I was actually not surprised by your abs. Because I've seen your abs. I've seen your abs in person. Do you want to know where that is? Where? Uh, I was at a very nice resort a few years ago down in the Caribbean, and it was a brand new resort, and I didn't know if it was any good, and I'm sitting there on the beach with my family, and I looked down the beach, and I thought, oh, this must be a very good resort because that's Chris Rock about <laughs> 10 chairs away from me with an extremely attractive, <laughs> extremely young woman. Do you, do you, uh, did you see those me? Those the did you, <laughs> did you see me? Uh, I don't, did, did we speak? Did we? No, we didn't because people go like, you should say hi to him. You're both from South Carolina. And I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. It's that, that doesn't count. So no, I did not go over and say hi. Though I was oh, urged to. We could have, you know, had a, a, a pina colada or something. That would have been nice. <laughs> I watch you all the time, so. I, I, I love what you say in the special about landing to go to a resort. Yeah, just that ride. There's nothing scarier than the ride from the, res from the airport to the resort. <laughs> you see the worst poverty in the world, and then you, you, you know, it's like dead babies and stuff, and then you get a pina colada. You're like, oh, Jamaica's nice. This is, this is great. You forgive everything. It's so, it's so sad, Stephen. It's so sad. We have to take a quick break, uh, but we'll be right back with more Chris Rock.